क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about how to use the calculation or rather what is the formula basically to finalize the average due date. So when we speak about average due date, we basically talk about the average or rather the due date calculation that we have learned in the previous video. Now, basis on that itself, we'll be formulating how to use the system or how to use a formula to derive the average due date standards. Now, there are certain pointers that you have to remember. I'll be jotting down the formula for you. And after that formula, I'll be jotting down certain pointers. These are the pointers that are really important for you to understand because if at all you do not follow those pointers, you might end up having a incorrect or having a wrong average due date in your exam or rather in your answers. So let's short down the formula first and then figure out what are those pointers. So the basic formula has been mentioned here. Average due date is equal to base date plus minus divided by total of the products upon total of the amounts. This is the basic formula that has been derived. Now, how basically we have to go through while understanding all these details. That means while making sure that all these amounts are calculated, what are the pointers that we need to understand is what we'll be mentioning it down right now. Now, the first point that has been mentioned here is selection of the base date. Now, base date can be any date. Preferably, we take the first due date of the transaction. That means the first transaction's due date or the last transaction's due date. Either of this or any transaction in between. The due date of any transaction in between can be taken into consideration. Preferably, we take the earlier one. That means the first transaction's due date. This can be taken. The second pointer is intertwining days. That means plus minus days. Can you figure out the highlight that we have done? That means in the formula plus minus, yes. Those specific days or rather the pointer that has been mentioned, intertwining days, it has to be calculated in a specific way. Now, the plus minus days can be calculated or rather can be rounded off. So, when we have to take the consideration or rather the first day of the transaction is not included, but the last day of the transaction of the due date is taken into consideration you will understand it better when we go through the exact problem but just remember which includes any other days after base date you'll have to ignore the first day transaction and take the last day into consideration make sure that is one of the pointers as you can see the formula is also has something called as numerator and denominator so there is a high possibility that you might have a due date in fraction if that's the case then round it off the next two pointers are if the amount is paid before due date then rebate is supposed to be given rebate is the discount that we give out if the amount is paid after due date then interest is charged on that specific amount so that is the additional charge that we put up now the last pointer that we have to mention is that if the sale of goods is between two parties if you remember the contra sales that we spoke about exactly correct that's the one that we had to discuss about now if that's the situation then the formula changes a little bit then the formula becomes as base date plus or minus difference in the product upon difference in the amounts so this is what you need to understand whenever you have to deal with those pointers or rather the formula for calculating the average due date. I hope this video gave you a clarity about how to use the formula and what are the pointers that you need to put forward or rather think of while calculating the average due date. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.